Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So we are completing our books component in this video. So for now we would be creating some of the book records so that we could uh, display and iterate over those records using our lightning web components. So I'm logged into the Amazon website and as discussed in the previous video, uh, we discussed some approaches that where to store the images. So we, the best possible way that was discussed in the previous video was your static resources. Thereafter was the other alternatives, right? So now we would be going ahead with that and uh, we would be creating our first the backend as well as we would be creating a static resource for that so in this video all in all you would be understanding that how you would be storing data into your static resources as a kind of a zip file and how you would be uh, using that in your lightning web components okay so these are some list of books so i'm creating uh, the, the uh, records for this now okay so if you uh, want to start with me so i think it is the best way uh, so that it is uh, easy for both of us to understand and learn that how things are going on so yeah So uh, we would be downloading the static uh, into our uh, desktop as well. So we would be saving the image. We have created a new uh, folder with the name of books and I'm uh, adding into this. So uh, in this uh, guys, uh, we have to, uh, we also need to have a uh, price as well. So I haven't added the price uh, so that uh, I'll add the price as well into our books. So we would be refreshing our uh, component uh, in the Salesforce and we would be adding a price for all these books. So since this is an INR, so we would be uh, displaying as per the INR in the UI.
okay so i hope these are would be enough for us to demonstrate uh, so let us uh, download the images for those associated books so moving back to that folder if we see we are having all these in here so what we'll do is we'll uh, create a zip file for that that is uh, this books dot zip file and that is created see books now what we would be doing is we will going back to the uh, home and in here we would be searching for static resources and in here we would be adding a new static resource with the name um, books okay and choose the cache control would be public like what do you want are uh, these uh, should be publicly uh, cache uh, controlled by the cache or they should be in the private cache so all day uh, that depends to you since these are the public uh, visible images so it is recommended that you should use the public cache control and uh, saving this so uh, this is the way how you are uh, storing uh, your files in the static resources okay so now how the url would be created and how we would be accessing uh, all these things uh, we would be uh, discussing in the further coming videos so if you are not in sync with me uh, i recommend that um, we are beginning with the development part now so it is good that uh, for us to be in sync so that it is easy to for you also to understand the concepts okay 